Every year in the United States, thousands of parents make the journey to move their new high school graduate into their new college dorm room. With this move comes a whole horde of worries and fears for the parents and their kids about what is to come of this new adventure. This is a crucial point for independence in the child's life and a crucial point for letting go in the parents. One thing that parents should never have to fear for their child is that their child will be sexually assaulted while on their college campus. According to the National Sexual Violence Research Center in 2015, one in five women and one in 16 men are sexually assaulted while in college. These staggering numbers obviously need to change. One person fighting to combat these fears and issues is Corinne Lankowitz, the president of Ball State's Step and Speak Up chapter. Step and Speak Up is a sexual assault prevention, education, and resource group where students can come and discuss issues of sexual assault and also work together to combat them. Corinne uses her purposeful, inclusive, empowering, and ethical leadership style to help Ball State combat sexual assault and learn what they can do what they can do if they are affected personally. To find purpose, Step and Speak Up and Corinne focus on making a positive change on their using their common ground to fight sexual assault. Corinne told me that she wants to be the face that says nobody should have to be afraid of these things. And as a whole, they purp their purpose is to strive to combat and educate on issues of sexual assault. They also want students to know how to report and feel comfortable reporting about these issues, as being afraid to report an issue can often lead to statistics being affected. According to the Atlantic article entitled Why the Prevalence of Sexual Assault is So Hard to Quantify, it says that the numbers of sexual assault reports are more of a reflection of how comfortable students are with reporting, not actual statistics of assaults. Corinne told me that she wants to show freshmen that they have somewhere to go for support if they're affected by sexual assault. They don't have to go at it alone. Although they aren't a therapist group, they can point students in the right direction in order to receive help if they are a victim of sexual assault. Along with being, imp along with being purposeful, Corinne and the members of Step and Speak Up are inclusive in the way they help students, all students on Ball State's campus combat sexual assault. She told me that they recruit from within the university, from Greek Life, and all other organizations and they give sexual assault presentations to these organizations in order to educate them on what they can do to help if they see something happening or if they are affected themselves. She said that sexual assault can happen to anybody, any gender, any ethnicity, any race, anything at all. She also told me that they're including talks of every kind in order to cover an entire range of people and their point of views. They're working currently on a program to discuss the male's perspective on sexual assault as they're commonly getting the stereotype as the attacker and the woman is more of um, the victim. And they're also working on a presentation that includes all members of Spectrum so that everyone can be included and represented through their educational talks and discussions. So while they are inclusive and purposeful, Corinne helps her organization be empowering in the fight against sexual assault. One thing Corinne told me that was very, very impactful to her to get involved with Step and Speak Up was the language around sexual assault. She told me that she prefers to use the word survivor instead of victim when talking about someone who has survived an assault. She told me that this takes the power away from their attacker and it puts the power back in their hands. According to the article, Survivor vs. Vic Victim, why choosing, your words is why choosing Your Words Carefully is Important, it says that being a victim implies helplessness and pity, and the term survivor implies people are taking control of their own lives, and surviving conveys they're still fighting. This empowering language that Corinne chooses to use and instill in her organization to use is a way that they put the power back in the hands of people who are sexually assaulted and put, take the power away from the attackers that are out there. While remaining per empowering, Corinne is also very ethical as a leader, although it's really hard to stay ethical in today's day and age when you're a leader. She told me that one of the biggest ways that she stays ethical is communicating to her board, her exec board members and to her, and to her um, organization members completely about what they're trying to do. She sets boundaries for herself and her board members on the limits of their jobs, and they also include a checks and balances system 
so that no one has too much power in the organization. They also rely on relaying information correctly and ethically in order to get their message across as a whole organization and do the best that they can at combating sexual assault and educating members of Ball State's campus on what they can do to prevent it. In total, nobody should be afraid of being sexually assaulted in college or out of college. Step and Speak Up is a great way that universities can get involved in combating, finding resources, and educating on sexual assault. Ball State's chapter, being led by Corinne Lankowitz, is purposeful, inclusive, empowering, and ethical in the way that they do things regarding their organization. Corinne uses her language, her drive, her charismatic leadership in order to help the chapter of Ball, the chapter of Step and Speak Up at Ball State do the absolute best that they can.